Hey besties, good morning, good afternoon, good night. I really don't know what time you guys are gonna be watching this, but that doesn't matter. It is currently Thursday, I leave to LA tomorrow, which is Friday, and bitch, I need a pack because I have so much shit to do. Like, guys, April has been such a busy month. I kid you guys not, I'm going crazy. Like, I'm going crazy. So me and Char are actually flying from San Francisco to LA for Nelly Skinse. If you guys don't know who Nelly is, that's Natalie's little sister. I'm pretty sure you guys already know them. But for those of you who don't, we're going to be going out there to turn up this weekend, girl. Very much crazy as fuck with the Riyabha. I was like, we're turning up here, there, 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 China, Australia, Canada, wherever you want, we're there. But before we go, bitch, I need a pack. I don't want to fucking pack. Like, I suck at packing. I stress myself out, but we're going to do it. Also, we're only going for a weekend, so I don't need to take a lot of shit. But knowing me, I need to take a luggage. I really don't know how last time when we went to Natalie's house, I didn't take luggage. Kiara didn't take luggage. Tweet didn't take luggage. We literally just brought all our shit in a backpack because we did not want to pay for a fucking carry-on. But girl, you know what? Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Also, it's because that time we were only staying for two days. This time we're staying for two days as well. But bitch, it's a party. So I need to take options. I need to take heels. Like, I don't know. You never fucking know. Like, I could find the love of my life out there, and I would never know until I'm there. But on a serious note, I do need a pack. I just want to get this packing over with already because I have stuff to do later today and tomorrow. So I don't want to stress myself out even more and wait last minute like I always fucking do all the time. Also, tell me why I started my period yesterday. Oh, my God. The worst news ever. And I wanted to wear a white dress, but... Change of plans. I know for sure I need to pack calzones, pads, socks. I don't even wear shoes, but if I do, I'll pack socks. I'm going to pack one outfit for Saturday morning. I don't know if she's having a Misa or not. I don't know if it said it in the invitation. And then it's Sunday. We come back home around 2, 3 p.m. So I think I only need like two outfits, right? And what I'm going to wear to the airport. But bitch, I'm obviously wear that tomorrow. Every time I go on a trip, I take hella calzones, even if I'm staying for a little bit, because you never fucking know. Que tal que si me cago y me meo todos los días? And then a pair of black sweats for... For what, for what? Oh, to go to sleep, duh. And I could also probably wear them on the way back, so I won't have to take double. Double the fucking pantalones. Hey, besties. Happy Friday. Girl, it's Friday, and we're about to catch a flight. It is Friday, girl. It is time to fucking be out and about. Because if you're not outside, what are you doing? No, but in all seriousness, me and Troy are leaving to LA today. We're going to the airport at 6 p.m. Bitch, it is currently 3.07. So I need to get in the shower, do what I have to do, finish packing a little bit, and boom, we out. This is my luggage that I'm taking. We're literally just going to be there for the weekend. But I don't know what to wear. So I'm taking this shit. So I can take options and okay, it, you get the vibes though. Anyways, I'm about to hop in the shower because I need to shower because if I don't, I'm gonna stink. Hey, bitch is out of the shower. I feel like a new person. Like I feel like a new me. Like where the hoes at? Because bitch, I'm freshly clean. I don't think I'm in a rush. I really don't have much to do besides who's texting me. Besides finish packing, and I think that's about it. Just got a pack and be me, do me. I think I just need to find like one more outfit. It's because I don't know if Nelly's gonna have Misa or not. So I'm kind of confused on that. Cause on the invitation, it doesn't say anything about a church, but sometimes that's how the invitations are because I know my invitation, I think I have the church in the back or I don't remember. I don't fucking remember that. I'm so excited guys. Also, I don't even know what I'm going to title this video or what I'm going to record. I don't know if I want to record, like, the day of the party. Just because I want to actually, like, enjoy the party. And I'm pretty sure, like, everyone else is going to be vlogging. Anyways, traveling anywhere is always fun. Especially with Chewy because Chewy never shuts the fuck up. So, I'm going to bring you guys along. I was going to the airport, all that. Landing. Y a ver que pasa. If I record the day of the party, I record the day of the party. And if I don't... And then I'm pretty sure I'll be filming on TikTok, you know. Can't leave my TikTok out. Uh. Guys, I'm actually so excited to, like, turn the fuck up this weekend. Like, 
I turn up every weekend, but girl, this weekend is gonna be in LA. Like, oh, my bad. Also, I hopped on a new skincare routine. I'm trying it out. Hopefully, it ends up giving me some good-ass results on my skin. Because, bitch, if it doesn't, I'll probably just cry. Shed a few tears. Be depressed as fuck. Typical Angie, you know. Psych, bitch. To be honest, my mental health has been so good, guys. Like, I don't know. Life has actually been really good. Obviously, there's always going to be, like... A lot of ups and downs. There's been many ups, many downs, but I always get through everything, like, always. And I'm so thankful that I have amazing as supportive as people around me, which is my family. I have a few friends as well here and there that are so supportive, so good to me. And I'll always be thankful for that, always. But yeah, I'm just really thankful for all the people that are in my life, honestly. Like, I feel like I wouldn't be this successful and like this good with my mental health if it wasn't for like all the people that come in my life and stay because there's a lot of people that come in and out i'm like damn like did you not like it here or what i'm not gonna lie though most of the time someone comes in my life and isn't in my life no more it's because i decide to remove myself from their life just because i really don't like dealing with weird energy i don't like dealing with weird people and Honestly, now, like, I've grown so much to the point where I don't really make a big deal out of things. Like, if someone does something to me, I kind of have to let it be. Because it's like, they did it for a reason, you get me? Obviously, you did that because you wanted to and because you don't respect me. And that's totally fine. Like, if you want to be that type of person to hurt me, like, what can I do? I really can't beg someone, oh, no, 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 don't hurt me, please, or... Oh no, be good to me. Like, no. If a person really wants you, really wants to be with you, or really loves you, they're going to be good to you no matter what. You know what I mean? So, I kind of learned that, and I learned to just remove myself from people who really do show me that they don't care. Recently, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of like talking to this dude again that I used to talk to. I know it's not my ex before anyone's like, oh my gosh, you was back with the ex. So now, guys, like, that's old news, and... We need to move past that. Like, I've moved past that. The only reason why I ever say stuff like, oh, my ex, this is nice because I always want to clarify that what I talk about and whatever I'm doing is never about him or with him. Like, there's so many guys that are in my life now that aren't him, you know? That sounds bad. I sound like a fucking hoe. I'm not, but if you want to take it how you want to take it, then take it how you want to take it. No, but I was saying, so yeah, I was talking to this guy again. We were kind of like trying to rekindle our friendship or like relationship. Not a relationship because we never dated, but like, you know, we're, I guess, trying to like connect again. And now the connection was there. Like, it was so cool. He's always been such a cool dude to me. Like, he's always been so cool. But he's like such a hoe. Like, he won't say no to any like girl. Like, He'll go with whatever girl hits him up, you know. Um. Anyways, I ended up finding out that he did some shit again that he's done before. And I kid you guys not, like, I didn't even tell him nothing. I didn't even say, why were you doing that? No. I just let it be. Honestly, I was just like, well, I heard of what happened. I saw, and... I just stopped. I was like, whatever. So I blocked him on everything. It hurt me just because it's like, like, I really wanted to give it a try again. You know, I wanted to talk to him again, see how shit goes, whoop de whoop. But obviously and clearly he wasn't for me and it's never going to be for me because this is what, like, the third time he does that shit. So it's kind of, like, pointless at this point. Okay, I'm trying to put, like, all my toiletries in this Lulu bag because I have a lot of space left, honestly. I'm taking two pair of heels because I don't know what dress I'm going to wear. So either or, I could wear that. And then I'm taking my sparkly chanclas because, girl, you never fucking know if my feet hurt. Then, we open up this and then this is my a bag of makeup because, girl, of course, I need to beat my face. And then I'm just taking this Morphe palette, my little bayonet, and then this pink bayonet, which I think I'm going to put in here just so it won't be separate from, like, the other things. And I'm taking my spoolies and then the spoolie to go in my bag but I don't think I fucking like germs. My lash shampoo with the brushes. And then this is actually my cleanser but I put it in this little bottle because I always keep it there when I travel. And then of course my floss because of these braces bitch. You know the vibes. 
to be honest, I overpacked a bit, but I don't give a fuck. Because, girl, I packed three dresses because I don't know which one to wear. One's brown, one's black, and then one's white. And this is just a shirt to sleep, two pair of pants to sleep, and then sweats to come back um, from the airport. Or, like, my airport outfit. And then a pair of jeans because I don't know what we're going to do on Sunday in the morning. And then just a white scuba jacket. And I think that's it. Oh, and then another shirt if in case, like, we go out or do something. And then the fit for today is basic as fuck, girl. I'm wearing my black scuba jacket with my sweats. You know the vibes. And then I'm going to wear some different um, chanclas because I don't want to wear these. Also, I need to clean out my tote bag because, girl, I really do not know what the fuck I got in here. I just got a complete mess and it's just not the vibe. Bitch, is that a broken nail? Oh, that's literally so embarrassing. Stop. Basically, Chewy is a fucking bean. He wants me to take his. Oh, thank you. Also, he stopped by the gas station to get some fucking razors. It's a shave his hairline. <laughs> Bro, your hell is I was like, he doesn't even grow beard or mustache. Well, he does grow beard, actually. We're ready. Steady, ready. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, we asked my brother and my. This is No, put it in here. Okay, dry cleaner. I took it yesterday, hello, last minute. When I took my haircut, I went after to go take yeah, the shirt. All high maintenance. Real one. Damn, who does that? Huh? Hello, Belico. <laughs> Hi, <bye. laughs> Some light. Like, damn, it's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like, the luggage is too heavy because of the belt, the buckle. Close it right. Right here. And we're straight, you know us. Time to go to Cancun. <laughs> See y'all in another side. <laughs> we're at the airport now, guys. How we feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling cold. Oh my god. Cold too, but the ops are right there. Besties, we ended up getting Burger King. Mmm, bomberbomb.com. What the fuck did you get, Chewy? I got a vanilla shake and some fries. Yeah, because he said he wanted to He's on an all-carb diet, so I was like, damn, my bad, Boki. We are about to get on the plane. Hey, you know, I'm How the pilot, though, so like, Oh, no, you're about to yeah. fly that shit. Yeah. Because if you don't think... Oh, no, Boki. No, 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 that's not funny, Chewy. <laughs> This is we landed in Ontario. Ontario. How we feeling? Oh, she's about to get all the bitches. Guys, we're waiting for Nat. She's about to pull up. Oh my god, I always get fucking nervous. I remember the first time that she came in because I was so fucking scared. I was like, ah. <laughs> Me too, Nat. Like, ah. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm shy. Good morning, besties. Rise and fucking shine, girl. If it's up, then it's up. I'm gonna change real quick. I already brushed my teeth, washed my face, all that good stuff. But we're gonna put some sweats on because we're gonna go to Target because I need to buy a curler. And at least give the bitch I have a body. Good morning, Miami. How are we feeling, Trey? Feeling great. Great. Besties, we came to Target. We got a loofah, got a wand. Wait, this truck is kind of ugly. I know. Which fucking truck is this? All right? Like. <laughs> So besties, I am currently doing my makeup, you know, vibes, um, fucking this shit up. My makeup is not coming out how I wanted to. I'm like so fucking annoyed. But honestly, at this point, you can't really do shit. I'm hoping that my powder puts everything together because my powder be fucking coming through. It be coming in clutch. So I'm just like, bitch, please don't fucking let me down because I already cried. 
um i had a fucking mental breakdown fuck this shit like dude makeup is so annoying like i wish there was a button where i could just like get it done real quick and boom like i'm fucking done you know but mm, it's not fucking like that i never hold, held it like this hold what? yeah that's weird i never held it like this how the fuck would you hold it then like a tripod me? This is your... <laughs> oh, I'm just getting ready now. She has time. She has like an hour. Yeah, it's currently... Oh, she's using the feet. It's 3.35. <laughs> the party bus gets here at 4.30. 4.30. So, those are the ones. I'm ready to fuck shit up today. So, besties, I am curling my hair. Um, I hate fucking doing my hair. Like, I just wish I was fucking bald. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hella hard. How are you guys feeling? We're trying to get what well, our family at the yeah. trenches, right? Yeah, yeah bro. Because our, our siblings got their families at the trenches. So I'm trying to do the same thing, We're you know? On the same but level, Angie, right? Angie doing it. Angie's doing it better, so no, I'm no, just no. Be just like her, no, bro. we're on the same level. Cool. We're okay, chilling. Bro. We're both chill. Now, I got you, my homie. I'm gonna put you on right now. Hey, my baby Ringo. Yes, Where the fuck is Ringo at? It's okay. Oh. Pull up, pull up. Oof, the real foodie on me, to be honest. Oh, so, my bad. Bro, nah, how, was the, how was the night, bro? That, that shit was weird. Bro. Not you, innocent. Shut the fuck. Guys, <laughs> dude, I have never been so drunk in my life. Like, you know, like, I'm not drunk, but I'm drunk. Oh, my God. 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 O